Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 58 of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had uh, just reached the oxygen level, oxygen producing level from the other side, uh, from this little cave system here. And we're going to go try and find Keeley, I think, down this way. I'm pretty sure this is where she's supposed to be. Maybe this is just a bunch of mantises. Yep. It's a bunch of mantises. A lot of... Whoa. Bug stomp of her. Didn't expect that. That's a bunch of mantis eggs. Well, that's a thing. Anyway, now we can go further in and that's not a door I recall there being. Oh, this is the door to pest control. Okay. Which is the way we're supposed to be going, more or less. For finding Keeley, anyway. Uh, yep. That's what I thought. This is a dead end. So, we go the other way. We go this way. Ah, uh, apologies if I sound a little stuffed up. My nose is, uh, acting up a little bit. There we go. And, nope, I cannot use that. Tales of it. I did not think I'd be seeing that. Okay. Uh, Tales of a... What was it? Junk Town Jerky Vendor. There we go. And we're going to be upping Barter really soon. If you've been yelling at me about that for the last few episodes, relax. I'm going to do it. Oh, that's a terminal I need to read, I guess. Species 1. A distant relative of the more commonly known Venus flytrap, species BE908 seems to be performing well. The plants are a threat to creatures up to five times their size due to the violent nature of their closing maws. Those that aren't swallowed whole are often incapacitated by their initial bite. The plant's lack of mobility is offset by their ability to lure prey into reach by means of a nectar they secrete from their bodies. That would be the spore plants. Species number two. Oh, this is the uh, large mantises. Of all the species we brought with us, the common mantis exceeds the rest in terms of predation. The insects are voracious, and their camouflage allows them to attack prey by, by surprise. Supplies, yeah, that's right. Also, they complement our botanical specimens by hunting down those pests that avoid or escape our other measures. Lastly, mantises will begin to cannibalize one another when other food is scarce, making their numbers self-regulating when prey is scarce. That's great. And the big old fungus that is, uh, I assume the reason why the scientists became spore carriers. An, entopath an entomopathogenic fungus, that, that was a long name, B. morticana, has been developed to colonize the bodies of most common pests. Once it has fully colonized a host body, the host technically dies, but the body continues to move by the means of the fungal colony within it. Yup, this is the stuff that killed the scientists. In this manner, the fungus moves among more of its prey, occasionally spraying spores in a radius around the host body, infecting all who come near it. Its drawbacks include the time it takes to kill prey, 10 to 20 days, and its limited effectiveness when dealing with unsocial pests. Hmm. So that's why it spreads so effectively through humans. I'm basically zipping around a lot right now. More than I expected. Oh, that's poor carrier savage. That's, that one's really hard to kill. Holy shit. That's the common area's vault uh, staircase. I could do that. I could unlock that and go up that way. Even though there's really nothing there. Just a couple mantises, I think. That gives me some some level up XP. That's what I meant to say. I was going to say level up, but that didn't seem right. That's a prototype laser rifle. How much weight am I carrying? Too much. 
I would be carrying that to sell it if I had a little more carrying weight, which I do not. Uh, there's a couple energy cells over here. Hmm. Eh. It's not really necessary. And it's something I can come get later if I decide I want to. So, you know, there's that. I have a feeling... Yep, spore plants. Whoa, deep. First, I'll deal with this guy. Uh, okay, that worked. And I think I want to range these guys. Yep, that worked. That worked perfectly. Awesome. Uh, can't get what's on them because they don't seem to have anything. Well, shit. I was hoping they might. And uh, that's a cave system in there. That does nothing for us as of right now. And we'll down a few more of these guys. Damn, savages have a lot of health. Bunch of critical strikes on them, though. That was amazing. Oh, shit. Shit. I didn't even see you, buddy. All right. That was down quick as can be. Ooh, I'll take some of those. I can always make more rounds with them. And I think pretty much did all we could on this side. Which means we gotta go to this side. I have a feeling there might be one over here. Nope. Okay. Hey, it's a hard locked one. And that, come on. Fucking cocking doodle doo. Oh, that's not gonna work. That's not the right spots. What about here? Nope. Still not. Right there. That was where it was. Okay. That's the way we go to rescue Keeley, I think. I'm fairly certain. And I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of mantises over here. Yep. Whoop. You jumped like a motherfucker. Look at you. Come on, die, damn it. The spore plant moved? What? How were you able to move? That was weird. What? Why was it able to move? Da fook. Da fook. I'll take that. All right. We're all good on that. That's apparently the door that was supposed to be here. That didn't stay long. Whoop. Yep. Savage. Hey, I got the abominable perk. Booyah! Alright. Put that back. And... Hmm. This says the research data. I'll download that now while I have the chance, and now I'll rescue Keeley. Because there's a little thing about that that we're going to find out later. Don't worry, we're not going to have her die. Believe me, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm too nice a guy for that. Alright, oh. Yeah, that's right, I forgot. Uh, let's see if we can take off your head. Yep. One bullet. All I need. Um, let's see. Trail carbine. That'll work a lot better for this. Uh, I think. Yep. But aim it correctly. Uh, I might be able to hit that just. What the? Cannot see that one. Got him, though. 
Uh, let's get this one now. There we go. Alright. Alright. I'm just basically doing pop shots at this point. Uh, let's shoot at the body that way. That worked. Alright. Let's just head down. Oop. There we go. What the? Oh, there's one over here I didn't see. I couldn't really see it from my angle before. So of course I didn't see it. Let's reload. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, like I said before, we are going to be dumping stats into barter now. Or at least mainly barter. Let's, yeah, let's do that. And... Hmm, what else? Science kind of needs to go up a bit, too. And survival would be nice to bring up. Yeah, I think that's good. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. One, to... Yeah, okay. English. English is eluding my mouth. Uh, that was a creepy noise. Actually, let's swap over to this. And then take the, uh... Well, they didn't take it off, but... Severely fucked them up. That's for sure. I want to see if I can get that with this. And I can. Cool. But this one. Cool. Alright, I think I am... Whoop. Alright, I am a master of those sights now, I think. What is, what is that? Was that another cocoon thing? Yeah, for eggs. Eh, not really worth the wait. Ta to find out, you know. That's, shut up, I'm funny. I'm funny! Keely should still be alive over here. Yep, there she is. Hey, Took Keely. Took you time. I suppose the NCR sent you. Uh, yeah, Angela Williams asked me to come find you. Ah, oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little peden she works for. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got yeah, a plan right. to deal with them, but I'll need your help. Uh... How much are you paying? So... You're one of those, huh? Fine. Yeah, kind of. I'll give you all the money I have once we're done. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain more. Will do. Alright, meet Keely at her base of operations on the second level. I'll just follow her. You know, get... Since we're pretty much going to the same spot. There's that sound again. That was weird. She is kind of damaged. Don't know what hit her. Certainly wasn't on my watch. Alright. Just follow her out, I think. Yep. And she goes to the elevator, which I already repaired. I think. Didn't I? Hmm. <clears throat> What's this? Did you do these repairs? Not bad. Not bad at all. Saves me time, I guess. See you upstairs. Alright. And you proceed not to use this... Okay. Alright. Alright. Far be it from me to understand. And she already gets here before me. Holy crap. I thought her base of operations was over here. Thought it was over here, though. Guess not. Okay. Morning. Good, you're here. Ready to begin? Yeah, just as long as I'm get. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> sure. How can I help? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. I don't this need a reminder. I'm asking for payment. To humans, and we need to get rid of them. 
I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. Uh... The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. Oh. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Any ideas where these vents are that I'm looking for? I set the gas to pump into the fist level since that's where the concentration of spores was highest. I'd start okay. looking there. Typically, these vaults use circular vents in their air circulation systems. Look for a wall with two of them almost side by side. There's one just around the corner outside this lab if you need an example. Fair enough. So, there's gonna be a blast. Yes, there'll be an explosion when the gas is ignited. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Now leave me to my work. Uh, how exactly should I ignite the gas? In the area where the gas is active, any kind of fire or explosion should do the trick. Hell, even lasers would do the job. Okay. If you don't have anything like that, I've got some grenades in my bag in the corner that you can use. Well, that sounds dangerous, but I'll do it. Good. Return to me when it's so, done. Fuck it. All right, and you said grenades in the far corner. Uh, not here. Where's her bag then? Where's your... Oh, there it is. Okay. Now I feel dumb for not noticing earlier. Yep. Those grenades will be plenty, I think. Now we just head back down. To, I'm pretty sure it's the pest control area. And there's a spot that is a perfect place to do it. Uh, once I get over there, I have to go around this spot. I keep forgetting that. And it's mainly, a, yeah, this is the spot right here. And I could mainly just throw it from this spot right here. So I'm going to equip the grenades, which are over here. Uh, pull them out, and lob it, and shut the door. That would have killed me. That definitely would have killed me. All right. There we go. Cool beans. All gone. And up the elevator. Not to the entrance. God damn it. Second level. Oxygen recycling. Where I wanted to go. God damn it. And, whoops. That's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go this way. There we go. And I don't necessarily need to tell her oh. that I downloaded the ah, data. Ah, good. You survived. Mm -hmm. I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be Sorry pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Good. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. There's only part of it. Uh, what needs to be done? I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Okay. Will it take long? No. It shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments and... That's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently and copied to an external source. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Uh... Um... I think I should lie to her, because I'd still get money from Hildern, even if I tell him specifically not to use it, because that shit is dangerous. I've been too busy rescuing you. Could someone else have done it? It's possible. I've spent the last few days in a cave, after all. For all we know, that man sent someone immediately after you to swipe the data while you posed as mantis bait. Nothing to be done about it, I suppose. All we can do is delete what's here, and that's done. I've unlocked All the door, right. so you're free to run along now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. Well, at least I gained karma. Don't mind me. 
Hmm. I have to wrap things up here, gather my gear, that sort of thing. I'll be leaving soon enough. All right, I believe you. Uh, we will be leaving then. Go up to the first floor and we'll get the fuck out of here. And have the pistol out because we'll always need that. There we go, okay. And I think we will... What? Okay. I thought... <laughs> I thought the thing froze on me and I was about to flip a bitch. Okay. Uh, I think we will head back to Camp McCarran. And I will end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we're currently playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.